I'm gonna scare my friends and family in the car. What's up? What up, you? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a long time. <laughs> it has been since FD, but you know. <laughs> Glad to see you there. Lies. You're a good actor. <laughs> so you guys got this run in, huh? Yep. So sick. So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is their single turbo RB26 that they're building for a customer. And this I... is what Sean should have done. <laughs> Hey man, just wait. We'll line them up and we'll race them. Okay. Okay? <laughs> but as you guys know, RSD is famous for their titanium work and their GADM stuff, as well as their Porsche work now too. The back of you. The back of you. <laughs> oh, this came out very nice. Andy did it all. I haven't done anything here. <laughs> all right. Speaking of, <laughs> nice set of stairs you got there. Look at that, man. This was down the stairs, all right? <laughs> Oh, and goodbye. See you later. All right, I lied. You guys deserve to know what's going on with the Subaru. Haltech sent us a standalone ECU, and I'm so excited because we're going to tune this sick. So thank you so much, guys, over at Haltech. I am truly excited for phase two of this rally build. Goodbye, oh. oh, We'll see you soon. So I hate to say it, but fixing the ground on the Subaru did not fix the idle issue. Whenever I'm in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, the car starts idling at 15, then 2,000, and then 3,000, and it just spikes up all the way up to red line. I'm a little nervous driving this car. I have a decent bit of a road trip ahead of me to the point where I am considering calling Jesse and asking him if I could borrow his car for the other half of the ride. <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically in traffic right now, going extremely slow because it's bumper to bumper, and I would just rather continue a steady pace. I'll update you guys in a few. Because it only happens on idle, I believe it's the idle air control. I'm gonna get this fixed tomorrow though. I just have to make it to my destination. So far so good. Now over update number two. It's gotta be like 110, maybe 120 degrees in this car right now. I do not have AC, I do need to get it charged. And it has caused my phone to brick. At least I know how to get to Big Bear, which is where I'm going. This is bad. This is bumper to bumper. My RPM are climbing. I'm, I'm nervous, I'm not gonna make it. All right, fortunately I was able to kind of cruise on the freeway. Didn't need to pull off, but we made it. We were at the gas station at the base of the mountain. I'm gonna fill up, grab some snacks, and get back on the road. Burns so good. That was a long drive ish. It's kind of nice. It's quiet out here. I like being in the mountains, snowboarding or whatever. I just enjoy getting out of the city. How do I open this beef stick? It's a BMW, I don't get too excited. It's not even an M, it's a 3 Series, okay? <laughs> Kidding. Oh, now she is idling good. Look at that. Yeah, a couple times she got up to 2K and I was like, Todd butthole, I got scared, but we good. Full of gas, we good, let's go. with the standalone ECU. I took it with me to dinner. Now bringing it up with me in the hotel room. Last thing I wanna do is leave it in the car. Now that I'm here and checked in, it's time for me to get some sleep, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. I've had a lot of coffee this morning. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We're here with Nexon Tires today. We have a few Jeeps with us today. We have a TJ, we got a Rubicon, we got a Hemi Swap. four-wheeling as they call it with their new MTX tire. They adopted this trail and that's why we're here. Clean up and enjoy it. I'm gonna go off-road for my first time. Oh, 
Oh boy. boy. Good morning. How are you? Uh, uh, is this uh, our driver today? Where are the four point harnesses in the helmet? <laughs> right. Good morning to you guys too. Good morning. <laughs> so proper introduction. We got Frederick in the car. What's up? We got Dan. And we got Paul. Hi hey guys. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Up there. It's like a Shortcut? <laughs> yeah. yeah? Let's do it. There's tire marks in there. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> What that Rubicon just did, I'm gonna do next. Are you nervous at all, Paul? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Clutch a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You can't really see anything. I'm solely relying on her to give me the correct spot, but she did great. Teamwork. All right, so next up, we switch drivers. You're up. No problem. <laughs> we got another obstacle coming around the corner. We're going that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go around it. You also pointed out the Sasquatch light. Yeah, Sasquatch lights. I think when you turn them on, Sasquatch appears, so it's very scary. For the non-believers, of course. For the non-believers. My dad would be so stoked right now. He'd be like, I'm going to text him and be like, I found him. Yeah, I found told dad. you, son. I found the Squatch. Oh, dear Lord. Should I put my seatbelt on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry. Set me up a little. So when we're driving, you guys, we're holding the camera up here. This is what we really see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm basically looking through the steering wheel. <laughs> we need somebody else tall in here. Where did yeah, where did our spotters go? They left the shortest people in the car. <laughs> oh, okay. Flexing. So this is the second oh. obstacle. Jonathan's driving this. Dan's gonna attempt it next. Rock garden. Rock garden. That's so appropriate. Yeah, I'm just gonna be the one to say it. Cash has gotten stuck quite a few times. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> one handed. cars from the TJ which is sketchy smaller wheelbase I liked it a lot to the JK unlimited you know you're picking great lines. <laughs> thank you on that one. Speed demon over here. Ah, guilty. What can I say? Were you driving? Man, I gotta say, this was quite pleasant. I told you. It's cheating. That car is cheating. We're breaking for lunch. We got the Jeeps lined up. We're gonna do some crawls on this. The natural scene. Come join us. Yeah, not too bad for a view. In the middle of the desert, some Jeeps. So I feel like I should preface, this is not a sponsored video, this is not a paid ad. I'm just here with the Nexon family, we're having a good day off road. And... All right, here comes Castro. I'm gonna give this a shot next and see if I can do it. Then it's that flex, you know? Ironically, literally. <laughs> You're making it look easy. 
easy. <laughs> They're throwing the deuces. Pose for your MySpace photo. All right. <laughs> what song are you gonna pick? <laughs> Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no valley high. <laughs> uh, have you done this before? <laughs> Why do I feel like that's the easier one? <laughs> yeah. Now time to go humiliate myself. Yeah. I'm gonna try in front with you. I almost just slipped and made it as I said that. That was probably the most fun I've had in a car at such a low speed. Half a mile an hour. Yeah, half a mile an hour. I had a grin across my face. <laughs> that was great. I think this is the most technical section we've been through yet. Yeah, this has to be the chicken tender one. The chicken tenders? Yeah. About to come up here, so slowly to the right. Oh, I feel like she could guide airplanes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're committed to this. <laughs> Feet up it all. That's great. There you go. There you go. Very close quarters, huh? Hey, my mom wants her Jeep back. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're like, good job. So, something feels broken. Oh, oh, okay. This was definitely the hardest obstacle that I've had to do yet, or any of us have had to do yet. That's windy. What's this called? Cakewalk? Bullfrog. I gotta say, I'm midway up here, scared for my life. You put a camera in my face. I remember what you said, but I was like, I can't do this right now. <laughs> got a sweet man this way too. You were like, oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, you're giggling. You got the evil laugh. You have to see her face. She was like, she turned the wrong way. She, she changed her mouth like seven times. She, I was petrified. She looked at you, not the spotter. The spotter's going this. <laughs> she went you start giggling. Like, All right, I'm turning the wheel towards you now. <laughs> any of them knows what to expect right now. Next entire flex. <laughs> How you doing? Insert shameless plug here. It's just you and me, boys. Oh, Jesus, I can't see anything. I know. Straight down shot. <laughs> I could see nothing. It was just straight down. And his hands are gone. <laughs> Man, I can't see. Shit. <laughs> oh, I can touch the ground from here.
looks like such a dad the way he holds his phone. Yeah. We made it back. No car damage, we're in the this Yeah, one. we did pretty good. No egos crushed either. No. At least not big time. Maybe a little on that flyby you tried pulling. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> that was so funny. It looked like you and Dan were on a date and then you had this. The dad in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So at the end of the day, I got to drive just about all of them except the one with the Hemi in it, but I really liked, so I keep calling it a TJ, it's actually technically an LJ. I loved this Jeep a lot. It has a lot of character. It does. It's that fancy, but at the same time, does the job. Yeah. And at yeah. the same time, looks cool. Like I bought a daily, need a new daily. Yeah. yeah this is not my daily, but I can Get up as my daily. <laughs> Overall, I would consider that a very successful day. That was my first time off-roading slash four-wheeling as they've been calling it. And I had a great time. That was definitely the most fun I have had going half a mile per hour. I'm going to shower. We're probably going to go grab some dinner, have a drink, relax. I don't think I need to really film the rest of the evening. I'm just gonna close out here. Big thank you to Nexon Tires as well as Bigger Jeep Experience for having me out today. I don't have to plug anyone again, you guys. This wasn't an ad. It was me just hanging out with in Ferret Club, the guys, and having a good old grand time. Thank you guys for watching. Join the Patreon family. Cop that merch. Shop.ameliaharford.com. I think we're gonna be bringing these back soon, so stay tuned. E-Crew, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>